Hey traders, Todd Gordon here with TradingAnalysis.com. Uh, welcome to the free video. It's uh, January 22nd. This will be for Wednesday the 23rd. Um, have a few things to go over before we jump into the markets. Uh, markets are at a pretty, pretty critical um, position uh, right now. So we're definitely going to talk about that. But first, a few things. Um, some big events going up. Uh, number one is the Wednesday webinar. So that is here on this YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube, um, it's going to be at 845 and we're doing this every Wednesday. The show is in its very early stages. We're going to continue to evolve. We're getting some really good viewership, good participation. It's live. It's a live streaming show on YouTube focusing on the markets, obviously talking about live trades, where we are in the markets from an Elliott Wave point of view. That's my preferred um, style of analysis. So Lots of fun stuff going on there. I'm using this fun new software, so forgive me if I kind of scroll or, or uh, veer off. I can switch back and forth, do all kinds of fun stuff. Um, those of you who do follow me on YouTube, uh, I just put up the, the uh, vlog when I went down to Ellie Wave International and hung out with Bob Prechter and the guys, so be sure to check that out. We are here in Saratoga. Uh, if you've been following along in the vlog, I'm about a good year behind on what's happened. So much has happened in life. So all's well. And now we're settling into to life. The new baby, uh, Eden, is doing great. Um, I'm kind of falling back into my old ways of life here. Um, I got involved in the Monday night, Monday night Ski Racing League. I post something on my Facebook and Instagram. I'll show you here real quick. Check this out. Look at that bad boy, huh? Wow. Um, on the outside, I don't know if you can see it there and here, but ski racing, you ever watch it on the Olympics, like Lindsey Vaughn or Michaela Schifrin or, or Ted Ligeti, when they go around the, the plastic poles, those are called gates. If you're going fast and you're on the proper line, you clip them. I forgot my pads. And it started up here, and it somehow got down there. Anyways, life is good in upstate. We just got two feet of snow. It's like... 12 below zero out there so so all's well so so let's dive in here um to um to get the um uh, to get access to the live stream tomorrow uh here's what you do go to this link go to my channel which is you should be able to just go like this youtube slash youtube.com uh forward slash todd gordon and then it should bring you into, there we go, Ellie Wave Wednesday. That's tomorrow at 845. If you click on this, um, you can set this little reminder right here, and that'll get you uh, that'll get you a reminder of when it's time to go live. The other thing I do want to mention is I will be attending this, um, this event in Breckenridge, uh, February 22nd and 23rd. It's going to be really fun. There's going to be skiing during the day, and then now we're going to be doing... Um, talks and speeches and and um, different workshops and stuff like that. Uh, my buddies JC and Brian put this together and then invited us in. Here's the lineup. This picture is from like uh, 10 or 12 years ago. I did not submit this. I don't look anything like that. As you can clearly tell, I look much older. Bags courtesy of three kids. I didn't have any kids back then. But uh, anyways, some good names uh, are going to be there. So definitely hop in there. Um, we're going to be skiing during the day and then uh, meeting up at 3 p.m., going through different presentations, probably some apres ski. If you know what that is, we're going to have a lot of fun. So that's that. All right, market. So listen, we're at a really critical juncture in this market. There's two interpretations that I'm, I, I'm from an LE wave point of view that we'll discuss more in depth uh, tomorrow. But basically, the loss that we've seen from September 22nd to December 21st, right now we're at a 61% retracement of that move. That comes in at 2697 in the SPX. On top of that, you have the 78% retracement of this drop at 2697. Nine six. Further, you have the 200-day, I think that's the SMA, that's the 200 SMA, no, excuse me, EMA, EMA, exponential moving average, 200 EMA at 27 whatever, zero two, three three points away. 
So you have a lot of resistance right here at the S&P. I am tracking, this is an alternate count which does foretell a B wave drop before we make another B wave high or the primary count with the same resistance is this is a big time market about to get crushed, one, two, one, two, with significant resistance against 20, 2700. Um, we're going to look to get hammered. I have trade set up. We did a new SPX position uh, with our members today. We'll go through that um, in tomorrow's session. Here's the trade right here. Don't mind showing you. There's a, there's a real trade right there. Uh, this butterfly in the 29 March. Um, I also have another trade on in TLT, which just went positive today. It is also a butterfly. It's a broken wing butterfly with more. Um, it's got some positive delta. Uh, we are slightly positive theta. We're looking for a move up towards about 121. Bonds are also looking pretty well uh, supported based on this count right here. Uh, I think the bond market, let me start with the daily and, and get down to the intraday, give you a good proper perspective. There we go, right there. Um, so, sorry. Let me, it's actually easier to show you on the 30 year bond. Bear with me for 10 more seconds. There we go. Okay. So, potentially on this bond move, instead of being a long-term top in bonds, it could be an ABC down in this little pocket of volatility that we've seen. We've started to see evidence of an impulsive move up, meaning five wave move. Um, so that is very interesting considering how net short positioning got in bonds. And if we go back to our trading count down on the four hour chart, here's what we're looking at in TLT, a little one, two, three, pull back in four, uh, and trying to get up to the 121, 122, it's really just to take advantage of this expected fourth wave range. If we do move up to the highs, that's fine. That's where the broken wing butterfly comes in if we're, if we're too right and the market rallies up. Let me just show you right there. If it goes up too high, we'll still make, you know, I'll still make some money, which would be a thousand bucks, give or take. But if we can get up to the 122, you know, it'd be $2,800 in profit if we get a pin. And the 122 is right in the middle of that wave four. So I'm kind of playing some, um, kind of playing some resistance overhead in the S&P, supporting bonds. Um, obviously, there's a lot going on with China. And uh, we're in the midst of earnings season now. Financials are mostly done. And uh, yeah, it's getting interesting. So a lot to talk about tomorrow. See you in the webinar. Uh, tomorrow, 845, be sure to sign up. Uh, Colorado, if you'd like to come. And uh, I'm on CNBC Thursday for Power Lunch. All right, guys, have a great night. I hope you like this, this new video format. If you like it, please hit the thumbs up button on YouTube and drop a comment below. Let us know that uh, you enjoyed this video. You've, you watched it this far. Interact with it. Questions, comments, insults. I know you guys aren't shy. Throw them down below. See you later.